Welcome back to the channel. It's a new day. The sun is out. It gave rain and what a difference today than yesterday. The wind was howling through here. Wash all over us. The wall stayed up. Look at that. Wall stayed up. We're happy. Um, it worked propping everything last night instead of trying to get it backed up with block work. What you don't want to do, back it up with block work. It's really windy and then you've got your brickwork going over and the extra money of the block work. That doesn't make sense if you think it's too risky only do one skin and just move around that's what i'm saying anyway uh, thanks for the comments yesterday about um you greedy blah 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 uh the man was never gonna last all this i've got intentions for everybody um ozzy's still here and ozzy just keeps earning more money more money as he gets better that's what happens if you're not good enough at the time anyway you get paid what you're worth and that's at the end of the day plus what I will say is, I am not a very easy person to work with, and neither are most bricklayers. So all you out there saying, oh, you're this, you're that, take a look at yourselves as well, because I guarantee there's only one person who you're in this game for, and I'm in this game for me. Make my money, go home, feed my family. That's basically it. Right, supervisors are across to us, um, just having a chit chat. They are just on the next plot now, so I can carry on. Um, you've got to show a bit of the what's it, haven't you? I didn't mean stop it now, I meant you've got to stop the camera so you can talk to people and then carry on. Um, corners built using the block, the brick method. No tape, no level, no nothing. Just literally tape across the joints, brick up the back. All the inspectors are looking for now, they just put a tape across them. They don't put a level in. Tape from the brickwork, from the inside of the brickwork to the block work, and they want to see that 100 mil. If it's any further past, they're, they're not happy. They're not putting a level up on either skin. So, method the method is build your external skin, fit your brick in, jobs are good. Look at that. And then they'll tape up at the top, and no one no one can say anything because they're just happy. Obviously, if the brick works leaning over, then you know you want to readjust that. What's this? I'll just keep doing that. No need for a level, no need for a safe. Make sure your dampers to the back of your brickwork. And then you're all good. Uh, what we were talking about, we were talking about something. I don't know. <laughs> Ozzy's gonna get in behind me now. As soon as I've got four blocks across here. Yep. Pull on a fits brick or a jag clamp, either one, I don't mind. I know, I put fits bricks, look at this. Oh. Here we are, we're empty. Hey up. Ta -da. These are a set that uh, Mr. Fitz Brick sent me out a long time ago. And they've been in my garage and I thought, you know what, I'll pull them out. Let's have a little spin of these. Seeing as the old jag clamp's still working right. but. Let's break a few lines. <laughs> Need a new line anyway. So, moral of the story is, I haven't got a moral of the story because I can't even remember what my past previous conversation was, but just enjoy the Brit Lane. Enjoy yourself, the sun's out, Friday, everybody's happy. Um, I had me tattoo lasered last night. They lasered it that hard, she did. Drew blood. I aren't complaining, let's get that ink gone. And, <laughs> We've got a new little fitness thing, me and Ozzy and my missus as well this month. Start of the month, we started with 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 squats, and every day we're increasing it by five. So today it's 30, 30 press-ups, 30 squats, 30 sit-ups. And we're, so by the end of the month, we'll be at 155 or 160, whatever it is. If you want to join in, catch up, you've got a lot to catch up on. 30 today, 25 from yesterday, and so on. If you want to catch up, get in with it. And then we're going to see what the transformation is by the end of the month. Because next month, man's on holiday. Right. Top's coming off. <sighs> Don't you know, he's... <laughs> <laughs> I just need to get a brown body now. <laughs> Got a big black brown Mid face. And, and we had a um, midweek gents stable fit at Wishwood Park. And I'm pretty sure I've won it from Wednesday night. Pretty sure. But I'm still waiting for the results to come through because I think people would have put the cards in the box. But go on the boys! Right, get lane.
this morning we're on this second lift first job we get here at seven two pack of brick on the bay that's 450 brick in a pack 900 to get out that should settle our day's work so we're doing the furthest away from the um from the loading bay this morning we're not going to fully load out all the sides and everything we're just going to get this in round to the corners build the corners right up the 16 courses to go on this um we'll build that right up take the profiles off and move them around spin it all the way around once we've got all the brick we're done around the sides then we'll put the lentils on better course of blocks all the way around the inside come out back on the outside and finish the uh in between over the top of the windows which will have soldier courses um and all the damps and everything to incorporate so for now let's get the rest of these bricks out it was not a bad day actually today is my birthday so we've had a little early finish gonna get back well i am back um and i'm gonna go out for a meal and with it being my birthday i did get the cream cakes in for me and ozzy but that's good anyway less of that crap i've enjoyed today we've got on with it we had a bit of a rainstorm for about 40 minutes that subsided and we got on with the job i don't know how many bricks we put in but i say about two and a half packs maybe so this is what we did yesterday 16 course uh, 14 courses sorry on this coming up that's where the vents are meant to go we've got the flexes for the ones over the windows these have a rigid pipe in we've got the front but no back box there's a back box that sits in behind here and then sits into the wall and then this rigid this rigid pipe will go into the back of the back box through there well, that's not a bad guess is it so we're missing this little section here which um Without that, really, it needs to be installed at this stage. So, I'm going to double check with the supervisor to see how he wants to do this. Whether they want to brick through and they core them out after and they do something, or it gets left out like this. In which case, if it is the case, then that's going to possibly stop the floor going on. Possibly. We'll have to double check which way the joists are running. They may run to this middle wall, actually. Yeah, it looks it. May, it may not stop it. So we did that yesterday, round to the corners. And then we did up to one course on every pillar coming round. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pillars round. And there's three quarters all over them. Uh, three quarters in this pillar and a three quarter there. Three quarter there and a three quarter there. And we also have that's a lot of cuts uh, we're waiting for them to arrive on site <sighs> um, so this morning we finished loading up what we needed to get done so the whole of this really is only three and a half packs of brick so 900 1350 call it around about 1600 brick in this second lift then we've got a coarser block to go around all this inside which i showed you yesterday but for now we're going to go and get the lentils find the lentils for all these until we can get the mortar across i was just going to go get the damps we'll get the lentils together get everything in a pile ready for in fact we may as well pass it up the scaffold they're that close uh, and we'll go and bob these around ready to go on uh, because it's one course then we'll put all the lentils on the soldiers on some of the windows so we'll get we'll break up to the soldiers let them go off do all the black work and then return and do the soldiers like i said yesterday but that's where we're up to we had a half decent day yesterday see you in the flip yesterday wow did we have a washout heavy rain stop start stop start we managed to get in that left side uh up to soldiers on the the front and then we darted inside got jumpers got so sun came out jumpers went off tried to dry them got a course of blocks round to there look what i've got anyway we finished at dinner time yesterday it was too wet 
fence bricks. I'm going to give them a, a little quick run. So, if I can remember rightly, it's just a couple of wraps around. And that's the job. And today, we're using these for a change. Oh, give them a bit of exposure because they haven't had any of late. There you go, Mr. Richard Pitsbury. These are the old type, smaller than the new ones. Uh, these are some that he sent me out a while ago. They've been just sitting nice and neat. Well, that's the job. So that's that set up. Uh, I'm going to run the rest of this. I'm going to run the rest of this block working here now. We've got a box lintel there, ready to go over the doorway. So this will sit in here. Thermalite bricks as well. That'll sit on there. I'm going to get down this way. Bosh. On there. Brick work across that. Shouldn't take us too long to wrap this internal up. We'll jump on the outside, finish it completely, scaffold clean. Then we're going to go back down to that pair that we're on down there. Uh, see how much of that we can get done we'll smash up the rest of the brickwork hopefully and then we'll see how much we get done today but come Monday we're meant to be going on a fresh plot so this is going to be scaffolded lifted floors on um, we're going to go around and flush up any joints that are missing as well ready for inspections clean out the trays get it all nice and neat at this level then, like I say, Monday we'll probably be finishing off the pair because I don't know if the groundworks will be ready because of that heavy rain yesterday. They've still got a scaff mat. I think they're still draining up the front of the houses, scaff matting. Uh, they've got quite a bit to get ready, really. And I think it's a tall order for them to get it done today and tomorrow. So we will get the pair finished. And then Tuesday, probably, we'll go over there. But tomorrow, we're off because I'm playing where the Golf Open is this year, U uh, UK Open, and it is... Lake Royal Liverpool so that's where I'm off tomorrow with our golf club uh, captains away day ping <laughs> <laughs> didn't see the ball did you um, so let's get on with it and then we can have a good clean out of all this stuff and we've got a little thing for the inside because those stands skip through the holes in this deck system what we like to do get them in pull it on there and it's easy for me to just drag this around, lay my block, I'll lay my block in there as I come round and I'll just keep dragging my mortar with me behind. A lot easier um, and a lot better than working like this. Nobody likes doing that. Nobody. And the vent system now, because they've got none of these back boxes, They've asked us to brick through straight round and they're gonna core them all. Happy days. I keep seeing you go on. And still isn't pressing the button. Right, Luke, check, check. This is what we're seeing. Bosh. And you don't even have to take your hands off it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Highly Ooh. recommend people. Your little bit. Look, it's even got a, a little locking handle, see that? Locked on my spot. Just go up and down. Anyway, I'm on the wrong side. Because Ozzy put me on the wrong side. Oh, that would be yeah. Oh yeah, sorry mate. I'll, I'll tell them how it is. Look at that, hey. And now we can lay blocks. We only cut one. Yes, we can. Hey up. Don't need the other half anyway. Simple as that. Now we're in. I like the fitter as well, the fitzy. No way. Fitzy my mother. And that, my friends, is the bin challenge. Well, I know, I know there's loads of people who use bins already, but I've never been uh, a great fan of it until now. Never been a great fan. Not until I couldn't use oh. my stands and started dragging them. And you always want to pull, you always want to pull your lines from your outside walls. Because when you joist land on them, you want everything matching up. So yeah, I'd recommend doing it this way. Check it. Pull off. 
some guy said last night on a comment, he said, uh, not being funny, Changi, but I wouldn't work with you if my life depended, but depended on it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, dude. That, I thought that's what I liked to hear. So, yeah, fantastic. Check that out now. If you want any more brick laying tips for free, don't ask me. That's us all done on this plot. This is ready for joist. Everything's been filled on the backs, all the holes, little bits and bobs. Tops have been filled. Uh, all the trays have been cleaned out, or turned around. So all these trays are clean now and stapled down, cut off, ready for the joist to go on. The only thing that isn't done is we haven't tapped all the ties yet um, because the reason is when the joists go on, we've got to put another block in and then once that's happened, then we'll clean the ties. All the trays are done. Everything's nice and neat. Scaffolds are neat. Uh, you can see down here, that's the tray for over the uh, meter boxes. That's been cleaned out. Everything's pretty much tidy. A few little bits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, these blocks have got to come off. The blocks have got to come off. Yeah, them blocks need to come off. 